Yep. Oh, speed up time. Sorry, I forgot. Yes, John. Yeah, they were. Are you log wiggling? Yeah, I could only wiggle the one. <laughs> Do we have crops sitting in our warehouse? We probably sold all that stuff, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, we did. Okay, good. I'm glad we did, actually. I like these gravity-defying chains. <laughs> oh, that's funny, Gator. Uh, I don't really have a favorite big map. I really just don't like big maps. Um, I mean, I guess Estancia La, Pla La Pacha would be the biggest big map that I play on. Um, I don't really do, like, the really huge ones, though I'm sure after a while I'll get bored of doing this and then I'll want to... Um, uh, I want to... Uh, um, whatever. Uh, do a big farm, because then you can run Big Bud and all that stuff. I haven't been doing Big Bud very often, so... You oh, said... Out of Lossburg, we might want to do at least a couple of years here. Oh, yeah, I'm not ready to move out of here at all. I'm having fun. I love this map. I'm just saying, like, in general, like, for a different map, for a uh, different experience. I'll tell you what, man, Foxel, they have, it is crazy how many souls are, you know, in, like, even like where I live, everywhere I go, people, there's like, I'm always in line with, like, 15 other Kia souls. <laughs> Not that that's a great thing. It's a pretty boring, you know, it, but it's interesting how well it did because, you know, Toyota tried it with the XB and they completely failed. You know, they had, you know, the first model sold well, but then the second model didn't didn't do well. And, you know, it just, but the Soul has done so well. And so many other companies, Nissan tried it with the Cube. Um, I'm trying to think of who else tried it, but the Soul took off. There you go, Kyle. You're already. We should be able to get one more pallet before night. We'll see. Otherwise, we can just wait till morning. I've never taken my car to a dyno. I don't have any sports cars. Daddy, stop! I'm squishing the mate. Ah! Yeah. Me, yep, the flat box worked. It was the only car that ever looked like that. Foxel said, dang, you stole my uh, cube reference. And yes, Gator, uh, Valley of the Old Farm is out. I haven't I haven't done any episodes on there. I have a map set up for it, but I just never did it. Never Your dad hates the cube. The cube is an ugly car. Well, it's become a kind of a collector's never item now because me. it's sold so poorly that there's very few of them but available. You know why never I'm sorry, John. I didn't mean to squish you. you, know why, you never squish me? why should I never squish you, John? My head might explode. Oh no! You pop like a zit. He said my head might explode. Is that good? Hold on, I gotta fix it. Okay. Oh, I never, I never did the other one. Oh yeah, I did. Never mind. Apple <sighs> To me, the Soul is like the most boring car in the world, but I love it. It's so freaking exactly what I need for my life. Uh, you know, it's like, it's it's peppy, so it's kind of fun to drive around. It's much bigger than it looks like. Like, it's pretty much as big inside as my Jeep Cherokee minus the back area. The back area is a little bit shorter. But, like, for seating room and stuff, it's actually bigger inside than my Jeep Cherokee Classic was. Um, it's just it's a weird car because it just looks small, but it's not. It's a big car. Uh, and so I, I, I'm enjoying it, but it's also just it's such a boring car. <laughs> it's, I don't know. There's nothing about it that's, like, not totally generic. I don't know. What do you guys think about the Soul? You said, oh, you've seen some real uh, two tanker trucks, a few FedEx. A real semi with a grain trailer. Yeah, we do get those here for sure, especially this time of year. They're taking them and starting to sell the stuff that they've gotten uh, stored up. I think we might run out of time, Kyle, before this one's ready. So we need to hit that sleep through the night thing. Yeah, well, I mean, we, can, we can finish. We have until midnight. To do we? Okay. 
What's up, Dark Assassin? All right, we'll just wait till then. The second best. Uh, you like season. Halloween? Is there is that the second best holiday? No, I. Because you get candy and we get this also get this pixel. Your breath kind of stinks. I think you need to brush your teeth. We got it. Oh yeah, we'll get it. <laughs> yes, you managed to make it. Oh yeah. You said I don't want it unless it looks cool. <laughs> if it doesn't go fast, I don't want it unless it looks cool. Well, I know. I mean, that's how I feel about it, too, but whatever. I can't. I don't have a choice. <laughs> it's perfect for carrying my airplanes around, too, and that my equipment, my airplanes, my kids. It's just, it's all perfect. So, um, oh, you did see, you saw a class silage harvester. That's cool. Silage harvester. You said I took a freaking picture of it. A freaking picture of it. Pixar didn't happen. <laughs> that's right. Pixar didn't happen. Quick stop time. <laughs> oh, uh, e, uh, e, uh, uh, there we go. Okay. Stopped. Nope, sped back up again. Stop it. Dang it. I can't change my map size without changing the time. <laughs> Gator, I would rather have a, a TJ than a, than a, a Blazer. I don't, to be honest with you, use a quick slap time. I don't particularly like the Chevy Blazers, and I'm a Chevy guy. Like, I would almost prefer a Chevy over any other American brand, um, any era. But I, I love the Jeeps, though. I will say that. I do love Jeeps. Um, I, would take the, I would take the Jeep, any of the Jeeps, over the Blazer at any point. Except for maybe, like, an original, like the big Blazers, like the, the what are they, the, uh, like my truck. Um, Those big old Freightliner Blazers that were yeah, right. The ones that were like the pre-suburban Blazers, uh, the K5, K5 Blazer. I don't like the Explorers at all. Never have. Explorers are too small. Expeditions too big. Yep. Ex the Explorer. That's a good way to put it. I, the Ex I feel the same way about the Explorer as I feel about the S10. I don't like either of them. I would much rather have a Jeep. <laughs> They had key mapping versus Arthur. Daddy? It's not the key mapping. What happens is the kid spilled key, uh, spilled something on my keyboard, and now my eight and nine keys are stuck together. So whenever I press one key, it, it presses the other one, unless I'm like, super careful. I'm going to have to pull it apart to fix it. So, no, I have no love for the Ford Explorer. Never liked it, never will. Uh, and that's just, I don't know. But I don't like the S10 either. So to me, they're too, they're too tall. They're too bulky. They're too, they're too uh, top-heavy. Um, they're good trucks, but they're just not. It's not my thing. I don't like stuff like that. Now I've made I've made um, I rock mad at me. <laughs> I know I'm gonna have to take the keyboard apart. I just never have time. By the time I get to it, I'm like already playing, and they're like, "Crap! I forgot to clean the keyboard out." See, I like uh, if. I, that's the whole thing. Like, I don't even. I guess for me, the SUVs are almost the same as um, as pickup trucks, though. At least they're a little bit better. I'd rather just have a minivan because it's much more comfortable. You get better mileage. Um, <laughs> I rock said, "Well, then have a good night." I told you. <laughs> Found oh, dead on road. Fix a rip. What'd you say? You can get a Ford Expedition. There you go. Yeah, I could definitely see getting like a suburban or an Expedition over getting a, like a smaller SUV. Because if I'm going to get something that's that size, you might as well just get a minivan. You're not going to be taking it off road or anything. I mean, it's just it's just a regular old SUV. But it seems like Jeep kind of gets their act together when it comes to off road stuff, even on the Cherokees. So, depending on it, some of them have like a lot of extra plastics that break. Maybe I don't know. Gut Forerunner, the Jeeps are pretty notoriously bad when it comes to gas mileage and maintenance so i don't i wouldn't say that the blazers actually have a pretty fairly poor decent record you're right it is a dodge and uh, yeah i would get a, a jeep uh like a, a yj uh, or a wrangler huh I don't know where you're oh going. you're right dang it i thought i was at the other exit <laughs> Listen, they all have problems with it. Any car has problems when it gets old, even Toyota. 
Has to be fixed occasionally. My um, parents had a Toyota Tercel station wagon. Yeah. That thing was unstoppable. Had four-wheel drive. Oh, the four-wheel drive ones. I remember those. They were so ugly. They're so it was funny. Ugly, but that thing was amazing. Yeah, it was a refrigerator. It ran forever. I did drive it until the wheels fought, fell off. <laughs> no, the wheels actually fell off. <laughs> yeah. Back right wheel fell off. And they're like, oh, okay, well, time to get a new car. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Fords are less expensive. And also, I think that recently, I think Ford's probably, for the trucks, Ford makes the best trucks. But The old Willys Jeeps, yeah. I'll tell you what, and this is, I know you guys are complaining about that inline six, but that inline six is unstoppable. That's one of those motors that just lasts forever. That's why, even though it doesn't, it's not like super exciting, it's a, it's a very, very well put together motor. It's basically a tractor motor. They used it in all their cars in the 80s and stuff. It's really good stuff. Yeah, I think currently. Though I have a friend, man. He swears by the, like, he gets 1500 and 2500s from from GMC and, and Chevy. And he swears by those pickups. He buys them used, like, in super bad condition and just runs them until they don't run anymore. And usually he can get two to 300,000 miles out of a truck. There, there you go, Iraq. <laughs> Beats the crap out of his Ford, but it still keeps going. I don't know why it keeps blocking you, Cloud AC, but I hear you. I can see it at least. It's saying that you're saying profanity. Probably because F-150 looks like maybe the F word with the characters replaced, even though it's not. Yeah, I agree with that gaming nerfer. You. Gosh darn it. These freaking cars are going underneath me and I can't make the turn. Urgh. Oh, the Fleagles? Yeah, the bull and the... Yeah, that one. <laughs> That's what it's called, though. It's probably some, uh, it's probably German for something, you know. It's not really meant to be a direct translation of ours. Wait, I pulled too far past it. Well, a pallet's going to empty anyway. Yeah, true, true. Yes. Yeah, the, the, you know, it's funny, I was playing, uh, I think, Lee, if you're still here, uh, Lee gifted me a set of Corsa, gosh, a, a long time ago, maybe six months ago or more. And uh, I've been playing it. I just I hop into different cars and drive around the track. And I was, I was doing this one track. I spent about an hour on the track. I drove all these different supercars around the track. Guess which car I got around the track the fastest? It was the freaking Miata XD, the new, the new Miata, or the, uh, I'm sorry, the ND. <laughs> I beat all the other cars time-wise. It just handles so well. It's it's actually easier for me to get the car around the track. Plus, it doesn't go all nuts when you get off. Like it doesn't it doesn't slide off the road very easily. It just it handles so well. I love that car. So I just play the Miatas now when I play on that. Let's set a Corsa. <laughs> or it's just because I'm a bad driver and I can't keep the other cars on the road. That might have something to do with it. Ah, John. Ooh, ow. Okay, kid, you gotta be careful with that. Just whack me in the face with the iPad. Wait, wait. Let's go ahead and take these tabs off. <laughs> oh, what happened, John? Did you turn it off? Yes. Or are you are you turning it off? Now we did make a little bit less that time. We well, we lost about three thousand dollars on that harvest. So the market is starting to go down. Though I think because we have twenty four hours between, it actually probably won't go too far down. Yeah. It's the other way, John. All right, there you go, kid. Do you want to drive it back, Kyle? Sure. <laughs> yeah. We'll switch roles for tomorrow. This coming day, I will do the, the animal care and the loading, and you can do the driving. What's up, Jimsy?
What was that all about? Violet. What was it? What is Evelyn doing? What was that all about? Oh, did she whisper it to you? Aha, you need to transport your corn. That's right. Oh, that's cool. So you could use Callan Crops with a, to, uh, like to use your actual tablet. That would be really cool. What's up, Pixel Gamer? How's it going, man? Everybody's hopping in now. Does look totally cool for immersion. That's really cool. That's funny, Gator. Not much. You just got your kids to bed. Yeah, my kids are all sitting on my head. <laughs> yep, always play on PC. I don't really have any other consoles aside from the Switch. So if I'm playing, you can almost you can almost guarantee it's on the PC. Oh, it's <laughs> you're getting Rick rolled, Violet. All right, John, you're pulling my shirt onto my neck and choking me. Ugh. John wanted to sit on my chair. He's yeah. sitting behind me on the same chair, and we're kind of squished in here. Eight bags of Fritos. Oh. <laughs> oh, my. Ta-da. Time for tomorrow. <laughs> Too much information, Gator. Too much information. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and fast-forward time. We're going to skip night, left alternate N. And the sun's coming up earlier. That's weird. It shouldn't be, but what the heck. So, Drex called. What do you think? Do you think it's Oregon, the new map? Is that what your thoughts are? I haven't really looked at it. I heard people people were telling me about it, but I didn't look at it. So, I'll start by unloading this and getting this production facility working. Um, so anyway, I didn't, I didn't, um, oops, it's too low. Raise it up. Yeah, I didn't think Fritos, Fritos are like 100% preservatives, aren't they? I don't think they ever go bad. <laughs> oh, so they're saying it, now they're saying it is for sure Oregon. Okay. People were trying to say, guess what it is, and, and people were guessing that it was Oregon. Yep, it'll be cool. It makes sense that they picked Oregon because it makes the road longer that we can travel on now, so we're not just going from New Mexico to California. You can actually go out of California and go north. Still, it is turning into kind of a, a freeway fest um, instead of doing a lot of cool back road stuff. That's It's mostly freeways, which it's whatever. I mean, that is what it is, but I just well, I mean, wish... Once you hit the Midwest, that's all the Midwest is. <laughs> right. <Nothing out> there. <laughs> There's nothing. Nothing. Um, yeah, f oh, they're saying some forests to drive through. Yeah, that's true. There will be lots of forests in Oregon, that's for sure. Or Oregon, however they pronounce it. I know they get mad. Oregon. Yes, I've heard that too, Dark, Dark Assassin. You can fast forward it up to 600, but anything above that will cause problems. And I think they say 300 for um, multiplayer. No, America isn't just freeways. There's a lot of great roads in America. That's what always, that's Top Gear. The guys are always like, oh, it's just all for, it's all straight roads. It's like, well, no, there's lots of places where there's great, I mean, just, I can drive two minutes out of my house and be on a great winding country road. No, there's all kinds of country roads. That's completely not true. I live on a country road. Yeah, I mean, I can get, I can get from, I can get from here to where Kyle lives and not take a single freeway. And be on winding country roads for most of it. Now, it'll take me twice as long to get there, but... Oops, I went to the wrong place. Uh, but yeah, you can definitely... There's there's all kinds of windy roads all over the place here in America. It is. We are not limited to just freeways. If you want to go anywhere fast, then yeah. But most of the old routes still exist. And I don't... I, don't, I almost never go on the freeway when I go places. I still have to go take the GoPro. I'll show you like five minutes around my house. There's like 50 different great roads to travel on for hours in any direction. Yeah, most of the USA is not city. We are made out to be all city, all everywhere, and that's not the case. Um, it's mostly country. Pure salt chips. <laughs> ah, are you going to, are you going to, did you already water them? Yeah. Look at you. 
Yep, back roads are the best. That's how I feel, too. I, I hate taking regular roads. I really don't like the, the A roads. I'm, if, I'm, if I'm trying to get to, like, a completely different state, I will use an interstate just to be like, bam, I'm there. But if I'm, like, you know, if I was to, you know, go down to, like, Albuquerque or something from where I live, not a single interstate be touched. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Hang on, guys. Evelyn needs to. Right, exactly. Exactly. Hang on one second, guys. Evelyn needs to tell me something. I'm going to put it on pause for just a sec. YouTube is my primary channel. And if you look at the uh, my thing there, that's where. If you look down on the. the um, below the video, I have a link to my YouTube channel. And uh, it's not huge, but it's. It's decent sized. I have a pretty decent following on YouTube. Um, but yeah, most of my. Everything that we do here ends up on YouTube. Plus, I do some other content on YouTube that's not featured here so um anyway uh but anyway yeah as we were saying hey what's up bc rad um i'm back oh, that's funny gaming nerfer uh, i will make a video lead just for you uh i don't know in the next couple days um i'll take my car for a drive with the gopro and we will we will just drive like 15 to 20 minutes away from my house and I'll take two different roads going different directions and show you what we mostly drive on here in the States. Um, unless you're in big cities and I, unfortunately that's mostly what people um, you said you knew I sounded familiar. There you go. Well, I do. That's because I am. Actually, my name used to be V Blue Guitar um, on YouTube also, but then I, they got, cha got changed because they just made me change it. So that's that's very true, Voxel. I think for for this, it's pretty. <laughs> no, I know you didn't, Lee. <laughs> I just want you to see what it's like, so you don't have the wrong idea of what most of America is like, because the people do really have the idea that that's it's just all freeways or straight roads, and there are places where there are, but we also have a lot of great, beautiful winding roads that are that go through beautiful places um, that are fun to drive too, with no speed cameras. Um, <laughs> and that's the fun of America. I forgot to get the shovel. What am I doing? Yes, I did. I got three days worth. There wasn't a lot that came out because we feel, since we're feeding them every morning now, we're getting a lot more in there, so it doesn't need to be. Yeah, <laughs> Kyle was up there. <sighs> oh, that was the mod I was going to give you. What's that? The, uh, the silage bag. Ooh, so you can bag them? Yeah, you just put all the, you just put the silage in a bag and be done with it. Oh. And you go straight from the bag into the mixer. And oh, that's perfect. Yeah. Yeah, you can, <laughs> I'm getting distracted because of all the comments. That's all right. Um, so speaking of the name V Blue Guitar, I was in a band for at least ten years. Um, we started out as Forge, but then we changed our name to Volatile Blue partway through. So the V Blue is just short for Volatile Blue. And I had an email that was vblueguitar at hotmail.com. I don't have that email. Actually, I still do have that email, but I don't ever use it. It got spammed out. So, uh, But I am vblueguitar, and then my, my friend Tom was vblueBass. So everybody had vblue and then the name of whatever instrument they played, vblue drums, vblue vocals. And uh, so we all had our email addresses set that way. The name just stuck, and I have kept it ever since. So that is where vblue comes from. Well, that is true, Feared Fox. But you don't run. You just pull over <laughs> and get your ticket. <laughs> That's why I don't want a fast car, because I don't want to get a ticket. But uh, there's lots of places here where I can speed where the cops are not anywhere around, because they're just they're busy with the, the, the town streets and not with the side roads. Yeah, and Dad got a ticket they can with the kids with in his car. Side roads. Right. They do sometimes. <laughs> if you're anywhere yeah, where people it's, live, it's where they it's where they got to make a quota. It's the only time they have, you know, they go out on country roads. Right, exactly. And usually they just go on the freeway and pick people off there. Uh, one time I did get a ticket in Medina, and I was speeding by a lot, like 20 miles an hour over the speed limit. And I was in, uh, I was, but I was getting into residential areas, like I was out of the country area, so. Um, 
Yeah, you're right. You can't put the grass in, can you? I wonder if we dump it into the the mixer. That'll probably screw the TMR up, won't it? Welcome aboard, new follower. I missed it. I was too busy yapping, and I didn't that see the name. Better. Maybe we have to pour the grass in this side. Honestly, I didn't try that. Let me try it. <laughs> They've added rally spectators. Oh, that's cool. Can you race the van, too? Uh, when are they going to actually add other rally cars? That would be cool. Oh, it does. That was it. Good job, Kyle. Uh, all right. Well, we got a, we got a, we can drop in a, a grass square bale, and then we need to drop in a, uh, a straw bale too. Okay, I don't have any grass square bales. Yeah, you do. A little pile of them. No, we got hay. That's hay. Oh crap. Ark of Truth. <laughs> you said what? Of course. That's all we have. Yeah. Now, that said, there is a pretty intense highway system throughout America. Everywhere you go, there's, you can get on the freeways, but you don't have to, is my point. And I don't like to. Unless unless I'm in a hurry, I hate taking the freeways. I much would rather take the back roads. Fun fact for interstates, uh, two out of every five miles has to be perfectly straight. For uh, aircraft landing? Yes, but not for emergency passengers wartime use in case we have to you know be taken off with like bombers and fighters and stuff yep yeah that's what i've heard all right let me see if that made our grass number go up uh well we got 180 grass in there <laughs> that's not very good we're gonna run out before we uh that's okay though well, it, that all that really does is it's just kind of stop our slurry can we mow at all in the winter? Like, today's the last day of fall. I'm wondering if we could just get a little grass and fill it up. Mow just a little teeny bit, you know? Oh, uh, yeah, I guess we could. Rah. Nope, that's not what I wanted. I keep... All right, John, but it was fun having you up here all that time. That was cute. Let's see. Ah, <sighs> that sucks. Yeah, I've heard I've heard that uh Foxel that they take your on the new update you're going to have to re I wonder why they did that. They took the clutch out. So Yeah, you can't mow in winter. So today's the last day that we can get any grass at all. It's going to disappear by day 2. But we can at least fill up the the um City folks just don't get it. Um let's see here. We can get some grass into them for at least 3 days. So three out of the six days of winter, they'll have grass. And then after that, we're just going to lose it. So, Yeah, it's a pretty cool – it's pretty cool. I don't love seasons, but I like it for this. This is like Kyle and I have been having fun doing this, and I, I, I like the way it's set up for this. So let's see. Well, it, it's like it, – it, um, it makes field management a lot easier. Because right. Because without seasons, you can only manage so many fields before you end up having to work the entire day. You know, doing every single step nonstop forever. But with seasons, it allows you to manage. Like you can by yourself manage every single field in the game, because you have time to do it now. Right. Exactly. You have three days to start planting stuff. I would just mow here, Kyle. Oh man, it's really not growing much. We should get a little bit though. All we need is a little bit. So, hey, have a good night, Dark Assassin. Uh, Adam X. This is um, Lossberg. L O S S B E R G. It's actually one of the very first mod maps that came out um, for the game in the map section of the game. So you, if you go into your mod section of the game, you can actually get this without too much hassle. You don't have to search the web for it. It's part of the game now, part of the mod section of the game. So, um, No, John. I'm trying to get into the cow pasture, no, Violet. but I don't think I can. I'm going to grab the baler. No, I don't think they'll let you mow that. You're just going to have to mow what we already mowed. It's just, we're just going to get a little bit, but it's fine. I think we only need like two bales, like a bale or two. Kyle Franz is back. Nope. <laughs> they take extra hay in winter? Okay, all right. So if we fill it up with grass, though, will they eat the grass that's in there, or do they just not I even just eat that at all? Do I have my own, like a half full piggy bank. You have a half full piggy bank? Yeah. All right. That's my money. 
Not right now. No, not in the middle of a stream. That's right, when it's deposited, that's right. I'm sorry, what, Kyle? There's nothing on 38. Like just the pastures we usually cut, they're all completely flat. Just try it, see if it gets something out of it. Nothing. Nothing, huh? Mm. I guess we're kind of skunked then. Well, we'll just leave it. I guess it is what it is. We've pretty much mowed our, all of our fields and sold off the bales that we didn't use, so. And that's another good thing about that bat, that tillage bag is uh, you can put whatever you want in there and get it back out. Is that that, is that that machine that you showed me with the big, it makes, it makes like, the, the bales? It makes a oh. big, long bag. Oh, I screwed up. There we go. I'll king. I'll get the doors open. I closed them. There you go. Let's see. It rots and vanishes. If you notice, in winter, the stuff you clean up will be hay. In spring, to fall is grass in your bucket. Oh, I see. Huh? The okay. What? The Glossy Kaiser is cuter than you. No, no way. There's no way that ugly dog is cuter than you. He's still cute. No, he is cute, but he's not as cute as you. All right, so um, let's go back. I guess what, we'll do, what we do now is just kind of hang out and go back to the um, lumber. So we'll do one more round of lumber for this series, and that, that should be it for the night, I think. Um, it's just starting to get late. I need to... Make myself and the kids some dinner in about 20 minutes here. So we'll finish this episode up. Let's go back to the back to the woods. Massive sale on Elite Dangerous, if that's something that you want. That game needed yes. to go on sale. It's pretty good, actually. It's just, somebody put it like this. They said it's a mile wide and two inches deep. <laughs> and that is very true. It's pretty pretty limited gameplay, but I do like it. Sometimes I, I like to... Description to uh, No Man's Sky. Yes. Why does the it says why does the Pacific Ocean, but not deep enough to drown in? <laughs> What's up, Kiwi Gamer? How's this thing doing? Is it full up? No, not yet. All right, so I'm speeding up time. <laughs> Thanks, Foxel. Great. Yeah, it was pretty embarrassing times. On the third day of fall, we can sell our wood chips. How do you how you you figured out how long it's going to take to fill it up? No, it's or that's the one's best. Alt S. Yeah, it's when your best price for wood chips is it is. You guessing at the biogas plant? Lee, you're talking about No Man's Sky. I think No Man's Sky ends up being deeper than than Elite Dangerous, but see, I told you, Eight Runner. I told if you went, I told you to go watch that video of the of the one two four spider by by uh, by uh, Grand Tour. And man, I just I fell in love when I saw that video. I was like, oh, I love that car. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, stop it. Too late now. I don't know how I did that. I'm going to get that back on there. Okay, it's still counting, so we're good. <laughs> oh, you're talking about Elite Dangerous. There you go. Okay. Kiwi Gamers in New Zealand. All right. That would make sense with the name, then, with the Kiwis. Yeah, I think so, too, Lee. Well, No Man's Sky came off as being kind of like the Sesame Street of space games. I don't know. I just... It, it, it it's so goofy on the graphics and the aliens that you run into. It's like I feel like I'm literally playing with Kermit the Frog and Fozzie Bear. Yep, 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 yep. Hey, Gameable, we'll see you next time, man. All right, it's full. I'm going in. Oh, 
Oh, I missed. You had one job. You had one job. <laughs> I'm going on a diet starting tomorrow, by the way. Actually, starting tonight. <sighs> I need to lose weight. And now i got to fit my fat arse on an airplane. I need to definitely lose weight. I wish uh, first class wasn't so much more expensive. But it is. A lot, a lot of people think where airlines make their money is, uh, you know, like first class. The heck? All that stuff. Yeah. But they actually make all of their money from coach. Oh, really? Yeah. Technically, they lose money on first class. Sure, trip. because it takes more space to fit the same amount of people. Yeah. But if they can, you know, hold on, cram me into the plane with a shoe. Right, exactly. On a cheaper ticket. Yeah, true. I'm just going to buy first class tickets. I'll be like, I'll bill it back to them, like, oh, I'm sorry. They'll be like, $2,000? <laughs> yes. And I loved every minute of it. <laughs> Loving every minute of it. Well, I mean, if you got to sit in an airplane for six hours, I mean, well, how long is it to fly? It's probably five and a half hours there and four and a half hours back. Because of the, uh, what do you call that, the, the jet stream? <sighs> yeah, the, uh, Seattle from, from Cleveland. Oh, yeah. That jet stream is going to slow you down a huge way on the way home. Doesn't it go? I thought it went the other way. I thought it went from west to east, but I guess you're right. It goes from east to west. Wait, no. Washington? No, okay. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a longer flight there. Right, yeah. Usually it's five and a half there and a four and a half back. Uh, up the Pacific coast, and it turns in around Alaska. Okay. And it goes straight from the Midwest. I just, um, let's see. Would I, would I ever... Would you ever full-time RV? If I could afford it, Gator, and my kids were grown up, yes. Right, Gaming Nerf, I agree. It's great to get there in four hours, but it also sucks to be crammed onto an airplane for four hours. I don't know. My neighbors always hate me because I'm freaking huge. What's up, John? How come you got to go on an airplane and we didn't? Well, I still got to buy the tickets tomorrow. The longer I wait, the more expensive they get, so I need to do it tomorrow. Is it two weeks is the best time to do airplane tickets? Like two weeks before you're supposed to go? Or is it a month? Six. Okay. I mean, I... You know, that you want to fly with? You know, like Southwest or whatever? Yeah. Call them six months early and be like, hey, I can... Like, oh, yeah, sure. We'll have a, we'll have a flight for you then, and you can get a seat for like 50 bucks. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Hang on. i got to turn all those off. There we go. It's 30. Oh, it makes it cold. Six weeks. Oh, well. They told me. <laughs> well, they just told me, um, like, yesterday that I needed to get this flight. So that's <laughs> I'm doing the best I can, but. Yeah, I have to be there for certain, right? I can't do like uh, standby or whatever because I gotta, I have to be there. Yeah, New York to Paris in three hours, right? Why? Hey, I'm in the middle of the stream here, guys. Figure it out. And the what? Yeah, I'll talk to her about it. Yearbooks, right? The more, the longer you wait, the more expensive they get. It takes me so long to get this thing situated, but we'll start time up again while I'm doing this. Oh, 
And it shut down. And it turned back on again. Yeah, it has to, it has to reset to start. There we go. There we go, Foxhole. And I'm not that huge. Like, I can get in the airplane without a problem. I don't need to have, like, an, a belt extension or anything like that. Like, I fit in my seat, but I'm big. And so it's like my shoulders are against – if they sit to me next to another big guy – like we're 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 bunk mates, man. I mean, we're just our, our shoulders are shoulder to shoulder, and it's there's no room. God help me! I, they put me one time on one of these little regional jets, like a CRJ, you know, 500 or whatever, and I'm like, man, yeah. And I was like, this is. Thank God I didn't have somebody next to me. It was an empty seat. If there had been somebody next to me, we would have just been on top of each other. I mean, it just. All right, Kyle, have a good night. We're almost done anyway. You saw almost to the end, so. Pallets seem to be bringing in about twenty-five to thirty thousand dollars a day. So they are definitely worth doing, especially in these winter months when we have no other income. In fact, we're probably making more money than we do off of our crops. So we're just going to keep working the pallet harvest. And the weather's changing. And Yes, Evelyn. What? For what? I, I heard that Violet broke a hole in the It's whatever. It doesn't matter. I'll, I'll fix it later. It's not like the walls aren't all freaking chopped up anyway I told him but he was already checking out so it was too late so um, anyway uh, I, yeah, I don't really love I don't love flying I'm just so uncomfortable because like my knees are pressed up against this I'm six foot tall and so my knees are like pressed up against the seat in front of me there's nowhere to move it's just you're just crammed in the seat you can't move your legs at all and I after like a couple hours I go banana no she popped the door open and it popped into the wall the kids anyway I'll take a look at it I'm sure it's fixable everything's fixable in this stupid house <laughs> hang on alright let me turn that it's time back down and I totally got this messed up now it's crooked ah oh, dang it it's just getting worse come on yeah, I don't know. It's pretty cramped in those pilot seats, too, though, man. <laughs> if you were seeing the cabin of one of those jets, man, it's pretty tight in there. Six-foot-tall guy is not going to be super comfortable. But there are pilots that are that big. But I think Mark said for the military it's like six foot and under. So Gaming Nerfer's back. Well, we are almost done, Gaming Nerfer. Kyle, are you ready to take this load down? Yeah, sweet well, let me get this loaded on and try to figure out the best way to... I think the next tree we should cut down is this one behind the trailer. Okay. That way we can pull the trailer in a little straighter. Can you back up just a hair? Because I can't. I'm having a hard time getting this. Quiet! Row, 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 row. Did I tell you I got a new dog? No. <laughs> no. That's just what you needed. <laughs> yeah. What Brad kind of? Gave me, uh, an Anatolia Shepherd. Oh, that's a big dog. She's not too big. She's definitely meaty, though. How, how old is she? She's a year and a half. That's so cute. So who, who gave it to you? Uh, a friend, that, another goat herding friend. Oh, now, does the do is it a type of dog that does goat herding? Yeah. Oh, you got it. Okay. All right. Sweet. Nice job, Kyle. <laughs> it gave me nerve for I don't know. I don't even know what that means. What? All right, Lee, have fun, dude. We'll see you next time. Uh, he said should I he should he wanted to know if you should glitch in videos. I don't know what that means. How'd it go, Seth? Did you have fun? Good. And DJ said to ask him about anything like funds or something that I could do or something for the camp. Well, we could probably afford to put you to summer camp. It's I can't go. Bucks, oh, ouch! I can't go with you for a week though. I know. So they have to have medical staff that is willing to to, Give me to help you if you need help. But he said to ask you about, like, funds or, like, paying for it, like, them paying for it or something or, like, earning something. I don't know. Yeah. He should talk to DC, DJ about it. DJ said he knows. Okay, that. I'll talk to DJ. What are you eating? Toothpaste. Okay, we got stuffed mac and cheese and chicken fries for dinner. Oh, perfect. Last night of fun. No, not right now. Um, so um, let's see here. I'll talk to you in just a minute, Violet. I said you're on a diet. Yeah, tomorrow. Starting tomorrow. Bravo. <laughs> oh, glitches views like cheats. Okay, I see what you're saying. 
<laughs> yeah, it is raining. Dang it. Uh, Jeremy, I don't know. I mean, probably. I'm probably done with Snetterton and Small Farm, Small Town USA. Just because we have all these other maps that we're doing now. Plus, people are asking for more. The hard thing about this game is that people want to see new maps all the time. Though, I will say that these series have done pretty well. Lostberg's been doing pretty good. Uh, the uh, Estancia La Pacha has been doing pretty good. Um, you know, and um, what's the other one that we do? Oh, my gosh. Uh, Altenstein's been doing great. I'm going to get in this guy's way. Hang on. All right, I got that. Well, no. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, jerk. All right, are you able to get in? Yeah. Okay, you're in. Good. Take it easy, John. Oh, no. <laughs> he said Cheez-Its. <laughs> well, that's true. You don't get respect then. Well, that's right. we got to think about next year what to plant so we can get uh, bar barley for our uh, our beer. What? Is there a rule I'm not allowed to ask your viewers to buy me games? If you're what? I cannot ask the viewers to buy me games. Yeah, you're not allowed to ask my viewers to buy you games. What the heck? Geez, Seth. Why, 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 why Cause why they're Because they're treatment? awesome, and I give them something in return. Yeah, except for the fact that I record, like, Space Engineers with you every Sunday. Yeah, you do. Where's my prize? That's Monday, actually. Where's my prize? Where's it's Monday? not Sunday. Yeah, Monday. Where's my prize? I buy you games all the time. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. You get almost every, every game like that you want. Months, yeah. What game haven't you gotten that you wanted? Assassin's Creed. Okay, now you want Assassin's Creed. <laughs> like five months. Teenagers, yeah. Okay. Um, so we need wheat, barley, and water. So that's what we're, that's what we're growing next, Kyle. We're not even going to sell crops anymore. We're just going to make beer. Cool. Sweet. I like beer. It makes me a jolly good fellow. <laughs> what's, like beer. what's that from? It helps me unwind, and sometimes it makes me feel mellow. <laughs> Whiskey's too rough, champagne costs too much. Vodka puts my mouth in gear. This little refrain should help me explain. As a matter of fact, I like beer. <laughs> what is that from? I, I love beer. <laughs> I love beer. Hey, we're back up to 30,000 on that load, so pretty sweet. Cool. Ladies and gentlemen, all good things and even some bad ones come to an end. I'll let you decide what this was. <laughs> Have a good night. We'll see you next time. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. If you really want to help the channel, you can always donate. What you do is you click on my name, Arthur Chapman. It'll take you to my main page, and there's a little, you'll see a Forge Harvester up at the top, and you can... Click on the Support Arthur button, and that's how you can donate. Also, here on Twitch, you can donate directly. Uh, so, anyway, have a good night, guys. Thank you so much, and it Don't was forget, a blast. Uh, if you're new, oh, uh, yeah, new. You've yep. got a Facebook page. Yep. Please answer all of the questions. Yep, so the Facebook page, once again, and you can see Facebook right down there below the stream. Um Answer all the questions, and don't just answer them yes. Like, put actual answers in. That's the only way that you're going to get in the group, because otherwise we're, we get a lot of bots. So have a good night, guys. We'll see you next time. Thank you for joining. Night, and everybody. Yeah, we'll see you maybe tomorrow. We'll have to see, but most likely have fun. Bye.